Hello! Welcome to my floss tube! Uh, yeah, it has been quite a while. Um, some of you guys have actually asked how I'm doing and uh, I'm doing fine. My family is doing fine. None of us uh, has been uh, been a victim to the coronavirus. Um, I want to thank you all for asking um, and I'm sorry I can't, well I actually can put out um, videos on a regular regular basis but I've just, uh, yeah, I've been exhausted and I haven't been prioritizing YouTube, unfortunately. Um, as you all know, I uh, got a new job <clears throat> at the beginning of this year, uh, which just, you know, turned everything upside down and it was, oh, it's hard work. And um, yeah, and I, I became like, I, want, I don't want to call myself a boss, but I am um, like uh, we have different uh, levels of, of being a boss uh, at the hospital and I'm like the first one and then I have a boss and then that one has a boss and that one has a boss. Yeah. Um, so I'm the first in line boss. So I have like 24, 25 people. I... I tend to and uh, care for, you know, budget wise and everything. So, but we're at the hospital and we're in administration. So we're not like in everything that's going on in the hospitals at the moment. But um, since I'm in that uh, leader position, uh, I need to be in it you know to plan and come up with uh, you know plan b's if people get sick and who's gonna do what and uh, we have people in the group that has um a um education from earlier where you work with um uh, elderlies and everything and those people uh are also needed, you know, uh, at the hospital uh, if people get sick and, you know, we have to uh, prepare to take care of a lot of people at the same time. And that takes a lot of work and, you know, planning. So it has been a rough start. Uh, so when I've gotten home, I've just uh been with my family you know since especially since all this started and when i've had some time off i have been cross stitching and i've gotten back to my uh, earlier hobby which is the most difficult one i have ever tried and that's um building scale models in wood wooden ships wooden ships and i was thinking what brought me back to that and it is because I've, i'm in groups on facebook and all of a sudden there were a lot of pictures uh coming in my feed from people you know building their boats and ships and you know they're just amazing so I had to bring mine out, of course. And then I was like, I wonder if people are making YouTube videos of this. And they are. And I found one that is doing a step-by-step -step video. And he is also a professional scale a model builder in plastic models. So he makes these airplanes and tanks and stuff and no I don't like that kind of stuff but I love motorcycles and cars and stuff 
And that is something I tried when I was, um, I don't know if I was a teenager, maybe in my very, very early teens. And I was like, wow, all the technologies and all the techniques they have brought out. Yeah, so I had to try that. So I'm working on <laughs> my first little airplane ever. And it's, yeah, it's a war airplane. I don't know what kind it is. It was just a cheap one I got. And I just wanted to try it out because, yeah, the building is kind of fun. But it's all the painting and all the detail making that it just blows me away. So I have been spending some time on that and on my wooden model ships. One which before I die I need to finish is my Titanic, which is uh, 100 centimeters long. So I've been planking that one. But I know that you guys who are watching my floss tube have no interest in such a thing. So let's just stop talking about that and let's get into the floss tube. Yes. So, and since I was crocheting and knitting for a while, I think I'm gonna start with that because that's what I've been doing least of. I'm kind of getting a little bit back to the cross stitching. So um, I will kind of mix it with haul and progress stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I think, let's get back into camera. Uh, what I have been doing most since like the last floss tube is this crocheting crochet along cow it's called a cow and the last piece of yarn is like ah a big mess and i swear i didn't do it but this is is what happens when you pull the yarn from the center of the not a skein i can't re remember what you call this cake whatever you call it but in the end it turns out like this so I hope that I won't get any uh, nuts and stuff but that's is this is all I have left to crochet so I don't know why I stopped because it is a very um, therapeutic way because it's just repetitive all the time. So it was very nice. And then when I have, at some point, you're just gonna repeat the pattern until the yarn is finished. And I did that and it was finished and I got the new part of the pattern and I just realized that I have been doing it wrong. At first I was like, ah, never mind, I will just keep on crocheting and then I was thinking but maybe I have used more yarn than I should have because I just did every row with these it's called a puff where you you know you use a lot of yarn uh, you pull a lot of yarn so you get balls kind of yeah uh, and I know, I think it was like every fifth row, I was supposed to not do those and just do the other normal crochet stuff. So I just had to pull it all up. And I guess that just ugh, killed the thing, but I'm almost done. I want to show you without pulling. I did pull it. Oh, well. Let's do a big. So it's super long, but it's very, very nice. Yeah. It's very nice and warm. So it's, oh, I'm sorry about the microphone. Um, so it's like 
the wrong time of year to do such a thing, but it was nice. And then at these ends, I'm going to do some um, tassels, I think you call it. So yeah, um, that's that. So I haven't done much more. I I got my um, uh, knit crates, I think you you call it that. And I wanted those because I totally, totally love the the socks. You know the pattern. So that's why I ordered these. I got two crates, crates, I think. But then when I started looking at the patterns, I'm like, you know, it's in English and I'm used to, well, I'm not very used to knitting and crocheting in Swedish either. Uh, so I was like, I don't understand at all. So I had to, you know, go back to basics and try to knit a, no a normal sock. And it seems like everyone is knitting socks using the magic loop. And I really don't enjoy that too much. I like using the five needles. But it seems that a lot of patterns are written for loops. The magic loops. So I started that and I just didn't enjoy it too much and that kind of killed it too. So now I'm gonna take a sip of my No Problema coffee mug mm. which was gifted to me by a very nice friend at work and we have a thing going with the llamas. Yes here's another sock pattern. Very lovely. I want to learn that. Yes. Um, so yeah. Oh, I don't think I showed you. I have finished my, my cow. The, um, the one that Michelle Bendy was knitting. Oh, I enjoy this one. Yeah. Very nice. And it was the yarn that was called for the Nora George yarn from England. Uh, but I didn't get, I'm sorry again about the sound. I didn't get uh, the you know, the 24 uh, different colors. I just ordered one color. It was Mr. Weasley's uh, Ford Angelica or something. But this was a lot of fun to knit. Easy peasy. Very nice. So yeah, I actually finished that as well. And yeah, the latest knit crate. Very nice yarn. It's not as bright as it seems to show on camera. But it's very nice and soft. I have no idea what I'm going to knit with that. And here's one of the sock yarns. It's not as pink as it shows, but very nice. Also, very soft and nice. I love this. What else? No, that's what I got. And they have sent another knit crate, I think, but it hasn't arrived yet. Because, you know, Corona came and I don't know if it's stuck somewhere. I don't know. So that's that. And then I also ordered like a surprise kit with suck yarn. So if I change my mind, I have lots of yarn to knit with. That's that. Yeah, so that's um, all the knitting and crocheting I have been doing. 
So <clears throat> the big uh, problem, I guess, is that it's uh, the instructions are written in in English. Uh, so not very easy, but never mind. I might get back to it soon. So let's go to cross stitching. Yay! Yes, uh, I have been uh, cross stitching. I have a little bit. Um, on Wednesdays, when my daughter is dancing, she's like dancing for two hours every Wednesday. And I have went with her uh, uh, more than I usually do. Usually it's my husband who who um, takes her there. But I found out that if I bring my cross stitching and I don't find it awkward anymore to sit and knit or a stitch amongst everyone uh, because I know what I'm doing is just amazing. So if anyone wants to take a look or ask, just go ahead. I don't have any problem showing it. And then I put on my, you know, my earmuffs, which like turns off every sound. So I'm like in my world for two hours and just cross stitching. So that's what I've been doing. And I have been doing, I've got it all ready and packed in my, my, um, my bag here. And it is the, um, ink circles, squirrels, squirrels of Sumatra. And let me show you. I want to show you how the picture looks like. It's like stuck in here. Come on. <clears throat> so this is it. Love it. It's so nice. I love these designs really. And I'm using a variated uh, color. Did you see I licked my finger? Don't do that in Corona times. Nope. Um, a silk silk thread uh, by Gloriana and it's called Acorn. So it's very nice and soft and the <clears throat> color variations is just amazing, really. And it just slides through the fabric. And the fabric is a 28 count and I'm stitching it one over one. Don't do that. But the silk thread is a bit thinner than um, DMC thread. Plus it's like sliding a little bit better. So it's actually no problems. And this is my progress. I don't know if you can catch the variation. So I'm very pleased with it, but it's kind of tiny. So I have been stitching, been stitching quite a lot actually um, since the last time, but uh, I think this part is one A4 page and there is maybe nine pages. It's gonna look very, very nice. So I'm enjoying that a lot. And the fabric is a hand dyed fabric from Mystery Fabrics. Very pleased, pleased with that. And I haven't stitched any of the Harry Potter. Um, just didn't 
feel like it. Um, but there is a new letter out and it's about Quidditch. And I have decided which player I would be. And I'm going to stitch, when I get to it, I'm going to stitch the keeper. Yes. So, I'm a keeper from Hufflepuff. Alright. So, let's pack it back in so it's ready for, not this Wednesday, because my daughter is having a, um, a week off. Because it's Easter this weekend, actually. And maybe that's why... <sighs> I have the energy to actually make some YouTube videos um, because uh, in Sweden we have four days off at Easter, Friday to Monday. So it's been very nice and the weather has been just amazing. So I, I've been out in the woods um, exercising, so it's been very nice. So that's what I've been doing. I haven't done any Harry Potter. Oh, I have uh, been doing a letter um, from the other Stitch Along with the Mythical Creatures by Pain Free Crafts. Go check her page out. She's doing amazing patterns just like uh, Heaven and Earth designs. And they have a Stitch Along this year. So if you want a fun Stitch Along, which is, you know, very, uh, uh, there's a big variation um, go check that out it's it was very cheap to join uh, and I think it was my last floss tube I made a parking video and then I started parking this animal here so I finished it off because when I started uh, parking I just, you know, got the feeling for it. Uh, I haven't finished D because I made a mistake somewhere and I like, no, let's just continue. And so this was E and they have released F, G and H. So I haven't done in any of them, but you know, you don't have to do all of them. You can just do one of the animals. So it's very nice. I love this stitch along. So that's also something I've been doing. Um, so, and the other cross stitching, which I have, I guess, spent most time on is my grandmaster Supersized max collar uh, by Heaven and Earth Designs, and the designer of the artwork is Gordon Fitchett. Gordon Pitchett. Fitchett. Oh, yeah. Shame on me, but um, and <laughs> I'm cross extreme cross country stitching this. And the first color I'm using is the one with the most stitches, and that's white. So you won't see much. Whoops. And the frame is so big, so I'm like hitting everything. Where am I? There. So uh, I've gotten to the birds he's holding in his arms. I will insert a video of the duck. So he's holding like eight birds in his arms, and I finished three of them. Um, and well, I don't know. I've also done this part and I think some parts over here. Um, it goes very, very fast when you're cross country stitching like this with one color. Um, so once I've finished and the birds, there's some whites out here on his arms. I started a little bit over here and then I'm going to get to his hands and that's a lot of white. But once that is done, there's just a few more stitches further down in his cloak and then the white is done. 
and then I can start. I think it's like this very, very, very light blue. So, oh, I'm sorry. I'm hitting the microphone all the time. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, really. Um, yeah. And I actually got a request about the uh, uh, like stitch along uh, the Once Upon a Fairy Tale that they wanted me to like number the videos so you know you can follow in which yeah follow along where it is and I totally uh, buy that so um, I'm kind of getting a little bit of feeling of doing another stitch along with the Once Upon a Fairy Tale. I haven't stitched anything on it so there is no progress there but uh, it was kind of appealing to you know just grab a color stitch whatever and maybe I get a feeling of stitching a little bit more until the next time I will show you we'll see I'm not making any promises because I know myself very well and um, yeah it's not just you know filming uh, and showing what you're doing it's all the editing later on so if I could you know do uh, live shows or something so you know you just get what you get and you know bloopers is bloopers or whatever you know um, I guess that would just be a little bit easier but I don't have that many subscribers and views, so I can't. Um, yes, so that was my progress. Uh, I feel that I am cross-stitching not as insanely much as I did before, um, but I'm, I'm keeping busy. Um, it's very nice to, to stitch and, you know, just... Uh, zoom out so but i do have a little bit of haul when it comes to cross stitching i made some special orders from um hawkins hawkins hobbies in england uh i had some uh, out of print patterns somebody's uh hammering so i'm sorry if you can hear that um out of print mirabilia patterns uh and they helped me collect the stuff um and i ordered a couple of uh kids with the pattern <coughs> so i have four kids total the thing is <laughs> the thing is that um when i ordered uh winter queen i wanted winter queen uh with the pattern and everything i wrote snow queen which is a completely different pattern and i had set up in my mind you know to have winter queen spring queen autumn queen and summer queen no summer and autumn whatever and two of them are out of print autumn and spring and they're so beautiful and i got the patterns and they helped me with the packages and i ordered the snow queen so i've showed you the patterns for um autumn queen and spring queen earlier uh, when I've showed you some haul so um, let's open I will show you if I have a picture or should I just bring out Here's um, Autumn Queen. So 
very difficult to show you but she's so beautiful her colors are so um purple <laughs> i don't know so uh here's the dmc threads all packed up nicely and here is all the special threads oh my god <laughs> look at all the cranics and no oh my god it's the metallic dmc threads i've heard that's like hell to stitch with and all the beads Look at those colors. Oh my God. Beautiful. So that's, uh, I know it's more expensive to get a kit uh, because yeah, someone else is, you know, um, putting all the stuff together for you, but you know, I might not start stitching this one until maybe five years, but when I do start, you know, all I have to do is get the fabric and then I have pearls, I have threads, I have everything. And maybe uh, at some point uh, you, you won't be able to get some of the threads or some of the beads or whatever. So I like to have full kits. I don't know, but you can see here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, boxes with all the DMC threads. Um, and sometimes it's nice to have the full set if you're like joining a cell or something. But if you, for example, have an earth pattern, you want to start, I want a full kit where you have everything collected like like here on the Once Upon a Fairy Tale, I have all the colors for that kit. So I won't use that for anything else. Right, so that was the autumn. What's, who's next? Yeah, oh, the Spring Queen. I love the Spring Queen, let's see find her I have so many nice mirabilias here why can't I find the pattern <laughs> I guess I need to cut this out <laughs> I'm sorry um that's autumn and then we have oh here she is here she is now I remember i showed you guys when i was out in the woods because the sun was hitting look at her look at her dress And the flowers, she, oh, it's so sweet. I love this one. And her hair, I think she has a crown in her hair. She's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. So I have the kit for her as well. If I can get it open, come on, yeah, oh, look at those colors, wow, let me start it now, no, not now, but look at that, oh, beautiful, and the one and only special thread 
I don't know. It depends on how much I need to stitch with this. I might switch it out. And the beads, not so many, but I need to get my mirabilia out. Oh my god, why? Why did I start looking at these? <laughs> Let's see. Here's some beads. Nice. Very nice. So, if you live in Europe, I guess if even if you live in the States, but there you have maybe one, two, three stitch, but Hawking's Hobbies, they great service, very, very helpful. I really enjoy being their customer. So that was that. Yeah, and then we have Summer Queen. She looks very much like Winter Queen. Um, but they're kind of like opposites, but they have the same colors. And like she, she looks like, really looks like a queen. She does. I like that white stuff there. The flowers and there's like petals flying around. And ah, uh, you can't see, but her hair is just amazing. So the autumn queen was very purplish and the spring queen is like very yellow and pink. And then we have summer queen, which I find kind of blue. There's, of course, some purples, purples, and there's some browns and greens in there as well. It's so beautiful. I, oh, I, I could use this as my, my pillow. <laughs> and there are no specialty threads in this. So that's kind of nice. I like it when you have uh, the silk threads, but all the shimmering, no, the glittering threads. It looks amazing when it's put down, but it's not one of my favorite things to work with. And here we have some beads. So very neutral stuff. Yeah. Very nice. So now to my mistake. Um, since I wrote Snow Queen instead of Winter Queen, I got a kit I didn't mean to order, but I have actually looked at that kit for quite a while. So I wasn't very disappointed when I got it. I was like, oh, I guess it's supposed to be meant to be that I'm going to have the kit. Uh, but the thing is, I have ordered the Winter Queen um, a pattern. Um, from the States, I've ordered from this girl before, but it was in the middle of the Corona stuff, so I don't know where uh, the pattern is or how long it's going to take before it gets here. If it will ever get here, I don't know. But so I got the Snow Queen instead. I'm not too sad, but I understand why it was so expensive because there is a lot of materials in this. Why I love this so much is that uh, deer, no, yeah, reindeer, right? Because my daughter, she loves those. And she, I love her long braid and She's like, mm. <laughs> it's very beautiful. So we have some nice winter colors here, blues and light purples, 
pinks and browns. It's very, very nice. But I think, yeah, the specialty threads, you know, we have Kranix and we have silk threads. I love it. silk threads. And we have this plushy. I have never seen this. What's this? I've never seen this before. Can you see it's all hairy and stuff? How do you stitch? Whisper. Whisper thread? Cross stitch and needle point for beards and animals? What? No, I'm very... Where do you put that thing on the animal? Here? Or is it down here? Huh. It sounds difficult. If you know any of this, please leave a comment. Tell me about it. And this is the Carry On Collections. Look at those colors. Oh my God. Mm, they're so soft and nice. Oh my God. So beautiful. And then we have loads of beads. And I guess this is why it's so damn expensive. And it's one of those kits because it's a newer uh, pattern. So you have a lot of beads. Oh, look at those diamonds. They don't show ver up very well on camera, but beautiful. <sighs> well, you know, There is a lot of people being on a lockdown. You know, you're sent home because there is no work for you. And the government, uh, you know, helps out with your paycheck. Uh, so there's a lot of people works in the industry who has been sent home with full payment, almost full payment. And they're like, you know, doing everything uh, they're like uh, yeah doing their hobbies they're fixing their homes they're out buying stuff they're out in the gardens and they're out walking and training and blah blah blah, blah. but the people who works in the hospital you know works really hard and i'm not talking about myself i'm talking about doctors nurses and the nurse assistants they're doing a huge job and they're not getting a penny for it so if i was to be sent home i wouldn't have any problems getting myself um activated or whatever you call it so yeah so once i get the winter queen pattern I will order the materials for that as well. And I have, I notice mm, this one as well I've showed you guys is also one of those out of prints. This is also one uh, I would like to have a kit on. But in the future. Yeah, that was the haul. Um, what else? Ah, I wanted to show you guys. Last year when I ordered my Grandmaster, I ordered the kit from Heaven and Earth Designs as well, which is like, ah, over $400. It was insane. 
but it's worth it was worth it's worth the money for sure if you kind of like buy one kit uh, but I bought two and I don't think I've showed you guys this and I haven't even started it but when you buy a kit from heaven and earth designs you get this nice purple envelope and it's this big because I, I had two kits in it and since um, Diamond Art Club is releasing Randall Spangler's designs as a diamond paintings, you most of you guys know who Randall Spangler is. So, oh yeah, of course, there is no pattern in here. How silly of me. I ordered um, the dragon in the morning. And I ordered it as a mini. I will insert a picture like over here to my side of the picture. Um, and I ordered it as a mini because that is those sizes, you know, you can finish with no problem. And you get a little hand sewn bag with their print on it. And inside you get this nice handmade wooden case which took me a few years to figure out what it was but one day I kind of opened it up and I realized that you can't see anything but I realized that you actually get a needle for your kit and you store it in the wooden thingy and for a long time I wondered what is this? Is it for the thread or? <laughs> yeah, it's a limmy. And you get a needle threader. I never use these. They're very nice and it's very, um, yeah. Because I think that, uh, The thing you thread in the eye of the needle is too thick, so I haven't actually used it. But it's a very nice feature to get with your kit. Mm. And I ordered the fabric as well. And for my heaven and earth designs, I always, from now on, order the EC guide with a 10 by 10 grid. And it's actually sewn as well, so it's not so big. It's a small, nice kit. It makes your life so much easier to stitch with the pre-gridded. It's a 25 count, by the way. I've tried to stitch uh, Heaven and Earth designs on 28 count. I've tried 27 count. 27 count is fine. It's really nice. Uh, 32 count. I say go with 25, one thread over one. Some people get scared about the coverage. You won't notice, I promise. It's better to enjoy the process. And I'm planning to stitch this uh, uh, with 10 stitch, two over one uh, on 25, 25 count. Uh, fabric so I know the coverage won't be that good but I have seen uh, there's one woman in the Facebook group which finish, finishes heaven and earth designs like this she's a Russian lady I think she's so fast and the results of her designs are amazing it's, it's very very nice so I'm like yeah I'm gonna try and kind of fun to finish something or you know get a fast progress 
so here's all the colors and this is for a mini design this is not regular this is not regular no it's a mini it says there mini dragon in the morning and this is the kit that heaven and earth makes so it's a very very nice quality i don't know about now but last year you waited like six weeks for them to ship the package and then it takes like a week or two when you have it and you pay a little bit more for it because i live in sweden and we have taxes and stuff so they have this laminated stuff and you get the symbol and the number and that it's them making it and for which sign and they have this nice little uh, ro uh not rope what do you call it well you see what it is tied up and they put it everything on these plastic rings which you're able to open so that's very 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 nice so but you pay for what you get but if you get you know if you live in the states i guess you know you don't have to pay for the expensive shipping i mean the shipping was 85 dollars and in swedish you times that by 10 it's just insane it's just too much which is a bit sad and then you pay like um you pay 25 percent of uh, the value in tax and then you pay like 12 percent of the value in customs so it's a lot of money but it's worth it because it's heaven and earth designs yes so i'm like I'm really, really feeling like I want to start this because, as I said, I'm going to 10 stitch. I'm going to stitch two over one with, on a 25 count. I've never done that before. And I'm going to park. And I wanted to stitch from the bottom and up. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do the top. From I'm not sure. But, you know using the parking method with the pattern keeper keeper app and if you haven't got it yet just go and get it go get it well that's uh that's all uh for now and as you can see i'm doing fine and this is how happy you get when you have had four days off from work so it feels like i've been away from work forever so i'm ready to get back and we'll see if i get any vacation this summer at all depending on so many things uh, but uh, also um, i will just randomly put out the youtube videos uh, uh, but I, i'm gonna try to um, get back to posting some stuff and even if i don't i haven't bought anything else uh, cross stitch or stitch related or whatever knit related or crochet related at all uh, so uh, it's gonna be like stitch alongs from now on uh, maybe you guys want to see some tutorials as I said I don't know everything uh, I know a little bit um, so yeah I'm like very much into scale modeling right now so yeah that's me with the 144 hobbies. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, again, thank you for asking how I'm doing. I'm doing fine. Um, I didn't realize that YouTube would um, get to me like that. You know, I'm like, who cares about me and um, you know uh, and but I understand because that's how I felt about other youtubers who has stopped uh, putting out videos and you're like are they doing well are they alive yeah 
but I'm pretty active on Instagram. So uh, I call myself Wanja76 on Instagram. So um, if you want to, you know, keep yourself updated on my life and what hobbies I'm doing at the moment, go follow me there and ask me to follow you back. That's no problem. Guys, thank you for watching. Lots of love to you guys out there. Wash your hands. Keep distance. Be careful and keep in touch. Thank you for watching. Bye.